G'day guys, this is Robbo and Kyle here, giving you some fair dinkum tips on how to play dinkum. This is our top 10. Number one is going to be change your settings. Uh, this is going to be a great quality of life, so hit escape, go to the options there, settings, and then at the top there you want to go to the third one along, the little camera, and then you want to click invert Y and move camera always. Now, otherwise you're going to have to hold the middle mouse button or shift to move the camera. It gets really frustrating doing that and just having this will be a great quality of life and will allow you to change over much easier. So tip number two is to do your daily milestones. Now hit escape, you can see your three daily milestones there. Chat with three residents, three, hunt three animals and find some buried treasure. They're also located down in the bottom left corner. So what you can do to do your chat with residents, uh, go to any person, talk to them and then go to let's chat. And then you say, what's new? Anything other than that won't count towards it, so you have to do it that way, uh, and that's it. Just some really easy points, and then they'll automatically get added in once you're done, and they'll go towards your next task. Tip number three is always do daily tasks for your visitors. The main goal you're going to get is uh, having tasks for your visitors to stay. Now do that, they have to like it and enjoy it there. You go up to any one of them that are in the visiting area, Go to let's chat and then you say do you need anything from there they'll give you a daily task it can be anything from catching a bug to trading items or buying something off them this one's a pretty easy one just catching a blue moon butterfly they even tell you where it is you can just catch it go back and give it back to them now in the bottom left corner near their name franklin it will show half a love there that's how much they like it here after a certain point they'll actually stay and become a permanent resident after yeah, you do your daily quest, I'll generally give you an item such as maybe a uh, some clothing or a uh, schematic. So this is also another way of doing it to get uh, schematics to progress in the game with different builds. Tip number four is going to be uh, learning what's the best thing to sell. Now, tip for new people is just making sure you cook all your food to sell. So, as you can see here, I'm about to sell some Quandons. This one's only going to be 110, but uh, a cooked one is going to be worth 220. Now, generally most things are going to be over double, not all the time, but at least double. So the apple's 107, technically double would be 214, but it's going to be uh, 390, which is a lot better. So, if you're ever like, going to need strap for cash and all you got is food around, make sure you cook your food before selling it for John. And it's going to be worth a lot more, and it's going to get you ahead, so every little penny will count first. Tip number five is get the tally poles up and running. They only take a few materials to craft, which you can easily find. There's one in the north, south, east, and west points of the island, and they're a quick way to teleport around. So once you jump in, you can go wherever you need, say you need to go to the pine forest here. Just jump in, head over to the pine forest and then go in and do whatever task I quickly need to do for the day and I can get back straight away. Just sometimes beats walking A to B. Now you can all, if you only have one telepole done, or two, one in the north and one in the uh, south, you can just teleport between those two. You don't need all four done to, to go from A to B. Tip number six is going to be the, uh, the machine manual. You can find that within the um, Johns there. It's going to be on that center bench and sometimes on the rear. It's about 15,000. Once you get it, you can go up to any one of your utensils, like the barbecue, and tell you what sort of items you can put in there. This is really good for your new players or when you get new machines that you don't know, and you can find out what's there. So your furnaces can take tin sheets to make tin, uh, and your stone grinders can take those shiny stones. Kegs will tell you what you can put in there, and the table saw as well. So it's just an easy way to figure out what's going to happen between each machine. Tip number seven is cooked food's the best. So it's much better for your stats to eat cooked food than it is to raw, and it only takes a couple seconds to do. The bush limes only two health and three stamina, but cooked ones will give you four health and six stamina, so over double there. Bananas will give you five stamina or energy, but double double that when it's cooked. Same for quondoms, three and two, but then it's much more when it's cooked. So make sure to always eat cooked food. Tip number eight is minimap and compass. So in the top right hand corner you see a little minimap. Around that minimap you're going to see that red dot. That's going to help you point north. 
So if you're ever on there, um, look into your map by pressing M, you can tell which way is north. And the little compasses give you a little directional so you know which ways to go. So if you need to go to the southwest, you know. Tip number nine is the donations box. Now, this isn't really tips, it's more of a, a helping hand to find out where it is. So in Fletcher's tent behind her, it's the donation box there. So whenever you buy a D, you need to then contribute to it. So you can put the whole amount in or you can put uh, part or partial amount in. It doesn't matter, you can pay it off over time, there's no rush. Tip number 10 is sleep to save. So the only way to save in this game is by sleeping. You can see when I go to the menu, there's no settings there that's for save. So the only way to do that is go to your house or your swag you have, and then jump into bed, and then you call it a day and sleep until the next day. Once you go to this menu, in the bottom right hand corner, you see the save. Once you see that, you know your game's saved and you can go to the next one. Now a bonus tip for everybody is to collect your milestone points. You can hit escape and on the left there you see your milestones. When you click on the shiny ones there and then you can see all the points are there. Click on it, it automatically gets added into your bank of points so you can spend on different licenses. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next Fair Income video. This is Kyle and Dave.